All right, so it is the next day. It's not morning. I had a few things to take care of, of course. Just got up to the track. I uh, didn't bring the sleep system today. No sleeping bag, no sleeping pad. And I also didn't bring the rain jacket. It's supposed to get freezing rain. Either this evening or tonight. But I figure I have the tarp if I need it. All this stuff takes up quite a bit of space. I got my bosa. So I intend to get a lot of work done today. For what I gotta be walking through with the boots all the way, I don't know if you guys know any better solution. That's a, it's not a fortune, but the sneakers are never gonna cut it up here. Even these boots are almost getting split. But I'm back. I made it. Getting a bit easier to find now. Still was crawling through the bushes, but. So yeah, nice and dry now. Well, for the most part. I left those two water bottles there. Cause I knew I'd be back. It's time to get to work. So just got some string. Tying up these guys here, which one the And that should hold them. Good enough, anyway. You got it. Could have had a longer bit of cord, but that will hopefully hold it in place. If you want to pull something tight, I don't have enough extra hair, but you generally just grab your knife and wrap it around there and pull, or a bit of stick or anything. It's not gonna work. I laid the ridge pole up on top and it seems to me, especially looking in this camera here, that it's a little bit off level. So all I'm gonna do is just take this off and just saw off a bit of this guy here. Should level her off a bit. I don't need her to be perfectly level or anything, but looks a lot better. Looks pretty straight on the camera now. So all I gotta do is tie her on, and then we'll... I'm gonna cut two bigger ones for the two end poles that go down on a diagonal here. But the ones in the middle, actually, well, two big end ones and probably two big ribs as well, but the ones in the middle, if I get around to cutting them, will be smaller. Because worst comes to worst, I could just throw a tarp down over the back of it anyway, but... That's why I want two solid ones on the side for putting the walls up. But anyways, I'm gonna get to work. Woodpecker's going again today. Alright, that's the ridge full up and a couple uh, ribs, whatever you want to call them, put in on the back there. I uh, tied them on with uh, double half hitches 
And on the ends here, I just left a little loop just for hanging stuff on. I got the bottle on that one and the axe hung in a loop there on that one. So I figured that might be useful. Woodpecker. So all I'm doing, I got that little stick that I've measured to length, cut the length. And I'm just putting that on each stick as I go and cutting it wherever they mark up. I throw it over the top and that's about it. I'm trying to get a couple big ones evenly spaced out and then all the small ones will just go in between. We are getting there. Man, it takes a lot of logs. It's a lot of cutting. I'm pretty warm down to my t-shirt there now. It's only about 5 degrees, but it's a lot of work cutting all those logs. So. I'm just going to keep going and get some more soon. I think once I get the few of those logs, I'm going to start a fire and get some food cooking. Got to get some calories back in me. I don't know if you guys can see him there. Got a little friend. Chilling out in the ridge fall. He got knocked down when I put the rib up behind. Getting the back wall just about done there now. As you can tell, it's a little bit lopsided. But that's okay, I can just pile more sticks and stuff on anyway. I could have done it where I put the fat end, one fat end down, and then the next one had the fat end at the top, and that'll keep them a little bit more even. But I didn't even bother with that. I figured it would be better just to have the weight down to the bottom so it would. There wasn't a lot of weight up top there. There's already quite a bit of wood above me. But yeah, if I were going to do it the staggered way that way, I would put all the fat ends down first, but just leave space in between and then put the other ones upside down so that they're on top of the others and gives them a bit of support. But I done it this way, so I'm just gonna fill in this little triangle here. Probably had to pile a few sticks on or maybe even just extend the bottom out a little bit. Probably not a big deal. But uh, yeah. So I just gotta find a couple more trees there now. Got one left here to cut. And I'll just grab probably three or four more. And then there's a bunch of ends there that I can start using for the two end walls as well. But like I said, I'm gonna have a bit of supper in between. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's after getting too warm. It's the first flies I've seen the year. One of the best things about being up here in the cold is there's no flaws whatsoever, but I guess that's about to change. That's the back wall there, so supper time. Light fire. So I'll show you guys what I use for a sawhorse. So all I've got, just a quick, easy solution too. Just two bigger logs. That would be anything special, they can be rotten or whatever. And I just got a spot where it's a little bit of room down at the side. Probably do it the same in the middle as well, but all I do is I put one foot on this side of this part and the other foot goes on that side and she's locked in place. And then I just saw from here, right? Go up and down, and then once it gets too short to reach out here, you can also saw in the middle. And either way, the saw is not directed towards your legs at all, so. But yeah, that's a quick, easy solution for a saw horse if you're stuck trying to figure out how to hold your wood while you're trying to saw it. That's all I use. All right, let's light this fire. Again, I'm using the big. That's all I have so far. I intend to get more, but light that up. And it blazes. Instant fire.
Water's on to boil, fire's going. Uh, I'm just going to take it a little bit easy, but what I'm going to do, uh, if you can see here, all these are hanging over quite a bit here now, where I pushed them all even for the back wall. So I'm just going to cut the cut all them a little bit more even. I can't sit out on the edge or they'll tip up, so i got to cut them so I can sit there and eat my supper. So that's the reason why I'm doing it now. I also got to go around and clean up all these sticks and put them in a good order and everything, but that'll be uh, for when I go to sleep. Noodles on the boil. Got the uh, ends, a bunch of ends cut off anyway. Sitting in the Sobeys bag there to keep turping time off me. One thing I feel like an idiot for. I'm after losing this knife already. I meant to tie a bit of trail tape onto her. Some fluorescent trail tape so I would uh, be able to find it if I ever dropped it again. But I completely forgot so that's something I gotta do. And here goes the flavor. They're a bit overhooked. So it's been a good day today. The weather's been perfect. Not a cloud to be seen. We're supposed to get freezing rain tonight. It's supposed to go down to minus five. And I don't have my sleeping system with me anyway so I'm not staying but we've gotten the back wall done so far Get those two side walls done I was thinking about starting working on a second bed as well but I don't think I'll have enough time I'm gonna work until dark and then night hike out I think not gonna be putting any more wood on the fire just gonna let that burn out I'll probably put it out a little bit early walk down to the pond and get a bit of water and put it out those two rain for the next few days I don't want to be letting the rain stop me but until I get my new pack I don't know if I mentioned already I've, I've ordered a new backpack an actual hiking backpack and that has a rain cover with it so once I get that I'm not gonna let the weather stop me anymore it might be a few more days before I get out again but we'll see All right, I had to get the sweater and the hat back on it got a bit cold while I was eating supper, but not to mention the sun's got behind the clouds there now, so that might be the rain coming in. But I'm just going to quickly go down. I got the Gatorade bottle refilled. So I'm going to take two, these two bottles and my dirty dishes down to the pond that's down behind all those trees way down there. And clean the dishes and bring back some water to put the fire out with. After that, it's time to build the side walls. All right, got that wall, the rooting for that wall done. Got a little log down on the bottom and a log outside to keep everything in place. I was thinking about tying the support rib there in place and staking in the bottom guy, but I'm not sure if it's even necessary. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. If it blows down, it blows down. I'll fix it again. All this is going to have uh, stuff on the back too. Most likely bows, but we'll see. But this is just a support for it for now. So it's, uh, the rain clouds are coming in real fast. Fire is just about out, but I'm going to try to get that other wall done a bit quick. Like I said, those clouds are coming in fast, the sun's going down pretty fast, so everything takes longer than you expect. Okay, and that's the back wall, side wall, back side wall. Again, I just, it's just a bunch of sticks laid in place. I put a extra rib outside there, I haven't even tied it down or anything. And one down and bottom just to make sure I don't knock anything into place. And again, that's not pegged in place or anything. That's just laid there. So we'll see how it holds up until I show up next time. The fire is just about burned out. I'm going to dump that water on there now in a minute. So I can uh, make sure that it's out before I actually leave. 
but the shelter's looking good. I got a few things to do before I leave. I'm thinking about building a second bed slash bench across there. I've cleared up some of the trees and stuff, but I still got to get a bit more in there. Probably bring up a garden trowel or something with me next time and dig into that moss a bit, get those stumps out of the way. But yeah, I think I'm going to build a bed there. I'm also thinking about uh, putting a little wall probably about to there, out in front of this guy too, just to keep me enclosed a little bit more. It's not really necessary, but why not? And from there, I'm not really sure what's next. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Probably put more walls around, block a bit of wind and stuff. It'd be nice to actually put some kind of roof overhead. But I'm not sure how well that would work out because I don't think it would block the water anyway. So, And uh, without it there, the sun will be able to get in and dry up the place anyway. So a roof might only be a bad thing. But I definitely want to build more. So you can let me know what you think. And if you liked it and want to see more, I really appreciate you clicking the like button, clicking the subscribe. You know all that stuff. I'm sure you heard it before. But, but yeah, I'm just going to clean up the bed there a little bit more. Get the fire out and we'll see how dark it's after getting the... It's after clearing up a little bit again, so... The rain isn't coming yet. But the sun is certainly getting down there and it is getting about time for it to be dark, so... I am running out of time. But I'll see what I can get done before I leave here now. Okay guys, that's it for this trip. I cleaned up the bed and stuff. The roof is on, the two walls are on. I'm cutting all the ends off, I got lots of firewood there for next time. The measuring stick is still there. Fire's out, fire reflector's still there. I cleaned up that spot a little bit, but I'm gonna have to do a lot more work on that. And then I cut a bunch more wood, so I'll have wood ready to uh, build next time. So whatever I decide I'm building next time should go up pretty quick, hopefully. But uh, let me know what you think I should build. Let me know any suggestions, any thoughts, anything at all. But I'm going to grab my bag and my drink. Got my headlamp there ready to go because the sun is set. It's still light out, but the sun is down. So it'll definitely be dark by the time I make it home. So yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, Put on the pack and head down.